Welcome to our journey through time, exploring the most remarkable ancient inventions that shaped early human civilization. From the simplest tools to complex systems, the ingenuity of our ancestors laid the foundation for the world we know today. Imagine a world without the wheel, a world without written language, a world where time itself was a mystery. These inventions, conceived millennia ago, were not mere objects but revolutionary ideas that transformed human society. Over the next few chapters, we will delve into the distant past, uncovering the stories behind these groundbreaking innovations. We will explore their origins, understand how they functioned, and witness their profound impact on the course of human history. Our journey begins approximately 5,500 years ago in ancient Mesopotamia, a land nestled between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Here, amidst the cradle of civilization, an invention emerged that would forever alter the course of human progress, the wheel. Before this pivotal moment, transporting goods and people was an arduous task, often relying on sheer human strength or the limited capabilities of pack animals. The invention of the wheel, a seemingly simple circular object, revolutionized transportation, making it possible to move heavier loads with far greater efficiency. Initially crafted from solid pieces of wood, these early wheels, while rudimentary, held the potential for a world transformed. The impact was immediate and far-reaching. Farmers could transport their harvests with greater ease, armies could move with unprecedented speed, and trade routes extended their reach, connecting distant communities. The wheel, in essence, had set humanity on a path towards a more interconnected and dynamic future. Our next stop takes us back to ancient Mesopotamia, where writing forever changed human interaction. Developed by the Sumerians around 3200 BCE, cuneiform marked the birth of recorded history. Using reeds to press marks into clay, they recorded transactions, laws and stories. Writing preserved knowledge, ensuring its transmission across generations. It democratized information, spreading ideas beyond a single storyteller's reach. Cuneiform paved the way for literature, law and complex societies. The Nile, lifeblood of Africa, nurtured the papyrus reed. Egyptians transformed papyrus into a revolutionary writing surface. This innovation spread knowledge, influencing scrolls and books. Papyrus, a simple plant, held keys to human advancement. Across the globe, from the fertile plains of the Nile to the verdant jungles of Mesoamerica, ancient civilizations faced a shared challenge, how to measure the passage of time. Their answer lay in the heavens above. The Egyptians recognized a celestial pattern, a cycle of approximately 365 days. This led to the creation of a calendar, enabling them to anticipate the life-giving floods. Meanwhile, the Maya developed their own sophisticated calendar system. They charted the movements of the Sun, the Moon and Venus. These calendars became essential tools for agriculture, governance and religious observance. They provided a framework for understanding the natural world and planning for the future. From the earliest days, survival hinged on securing sustenance from the land. In Mesopotamia, a revolution was brewing. The plough emerged, transforming agriculture. This tool, enhanced with metal, altered history. Harnessed to oxen, it increased efficiency. Farmers could now cultivate larger areas. This act unleashed profound consequences. Yields surged, fueling population growth and urbanization. The plough symbolizes human ingenuity and innovation. Time, an unrelenting force, governs the lives of all creatures on Earth. For millennia, humans have sought to understand and measure its passage. In the cradle of civilization, where the sun blazed fiercely upon the ancient Mesopotamians and Egyptians, a simple yet ingenious invention arose, the sundial. Fashioned from stone, wood or metal, the sundial utilizes the sun's movement across the sky to track the passing hours. 
a central gnomon casts a shadow upon a marked surface, its position indicating the time of day. This ingenious device, though simple in its design, represented a profound leap forward in humanity's ability to order their lives. With the sundial, these early civilizations could divide their days into segments, allowing for the scheduling of activities, religious ceremonies, and the organization of labor. It fostered a greater understanding of time, paving the way for the development of calendars and more sophisticated timekeeping instruments. The humble sundial, a testament to human ingenuity, marked our first steps in unlocking the secrets of time. The human body, a complex and intricate machine, has always been susceptible to injury and disease. Since time immemorial, humans have sought ways to alleviate suffering and heal the sick. In the ancient civilizations of India and Egypt, skilled healers developed an astonishing array of surgical tools. These early practitioners, though lacking the knowledge and technology of modern medicine, possessed a remarkable understanding of human anatomy and a steady hand. They crafted delicate scalpels from obsidian and bronze, their sharp edges capable of making precise incisions. Forceps, fashioned from bone or metal, were used to extract foreign objects and manipulate tissues. Perhaps most astonishing was the use of drills crafted with incredible precision for procedures such as trepanation, a practice involving the drilling of small holes in the skull. While the reasons for this procedure remain debated, it is a testament to the daring and skill of these early surgeons. These tools, though rudimentary by today's standards, represent the very dawn of surgery, a testament to human compassion and the enduring quest to heal. Navigation, the art of finding one's way, is a skill as old as humanity itself. For millennia we have relied on the stars, the wind and the lay of the land to guide our journeys. But in ancient China, a revolutionary invention emerged, harnessing the Earth's invisible forces to point the way, the compass. The compass in its earliest form was a simple device. A lodestone, a naturally magnetized piece of iron ore, was suspended freely, allowing it to align itself with the Earth's magnetic field. This seemingly magical property, the lodestone's unwavering attraction to magnetic north, was initially used for spiritual purposes, such as geomancy and divination. However, the compass's potential for navigation was soon realized. By understanding the relationship between the lodestone's orientation and the cardinal directions, sailors and explorers could chart courses across vast distances, even in the absence of familiar landmarks. This newfound ability to navigate with greater accuracy and confidence opened up sea routes and facilitated trade, exploration and the exchange of ideas across continents. From the towering pyramids of Egypt to the majestic ziggurats of Mesopotamia, the Romans revolutionized construction with concrete. They mixed volcanic ash, lime and aggregate, which hardened into a stone-like mass. This allowed them to create arches, vaults and domes, exemplified by the Colosseum's enduring strength. Concrete enabled vast networks of roads, aqueducts and public baths, shaping the Roman Empire and beyond. Water, the lifeblood of any civilization, posed a unique challenge to the Romans. As their cities grew, so too did their thirst for this precious resource. Rivers and wells could no longer quench Rome's needs. Roman engineers turned to an ingenious solution, the aqueduct. These marvels of engineering stretched for miles, embodying Roman innovation. Utilizing gravity, they transported water from distant springs to cities. Stone, brick and concrete formed the backbone of these structures. The water flowed steadily to fountains, baths and homes. Roman engineers incorporated settling tanks and filtering systems. These systems ensured water purity and clarity, providing Rome with unparalleled hygiene and clean water. The impact on Roman society was profound. Public baths became centers of social life, while fountains transformed the urban landscape. Aqueducts, symbols of Roman power, allowed their civilization to flourish.
The fertile crescent of ancient Mesopotamia thrived on the lifeblood of the Nile, Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Harnessing water for irrigation was a laborious challenge. Archimedes devised the Archimedes screw, a simple yet effective solution. A screw-shaped blade rotates within a cylindrical tube, lifting water. This allowed farmers to irrigate crops with ease. The device was versatile and efficient. It could be made from wood and scaled for various needs. Its impact on agriculture was significant. The legacy of Archimedes' screw extends beyond agriculture. It was used in ship hulls, sawmills and transporting grain. Its enduring relevance is a testament to Archimedes' genius, a timeless example of human ingenuity. The need to quantify the world around us is a fundamental human drive. From counting on fingers to the abacus, humans have always sought ways to manage calculations. Emerging around the fourth millennium BCE, the abacus was a profound leap forward. This simple tool allowed for complex calculations, aiding trade and construction. Even today, the abacus remains a testament to human ingenuity. As human settlements grew into bustling cities, managing waste became crucial. Disease could spread rapidly. The Indus Valley created the first sophisticated sewer systems. Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro were marvels of urban planning. Beneath the streets lay meticulously constructed drains, improving sanitation and public health. This advanced approach contrasts with challenges faced by many cities even today. In the annals of history, few inventions have had such a profound impact as gunpowder. This mixture of sulfur, charcoal and potassium nitrate forever altered warfare. Alchemists in 9th century China seeking immortality stumbled upon it. Initially used in fireworks, its destructive potential was soon realized. By the 10th century, the Chinese military began experimenting with gunpowder. Early incendiary weapons emerged, changing warfare forever. From the lush Nile Delta to the fertile plains of Mesopotamia, ancient civilizations flourished. But these lands were not always hospitable. Our ancestors confronted the desert and devised irrigation. Water was controlled, diverted, and harnessed to transform barren landscapes. These systems allowed civilizations to cultivate crops on a larger scale, leading to a surplus of food and settled communities. Cities rose, fed by irrigated agriculture, laying the foundation for great civilizations. From the vastness of the cosmos to the intricate workings of the atom, numbers underpin our understanding of the universe. But the concept of zero, a seemingly simple idea, represents a profound intellectual leap a testament to the human capacity for abstract thought. While other ancient cultures grappled with representing nothingness, it was in ancient India, around the 5th century CE, that zero emerged as a distinct numerical entity. This revolutionary concept, denoted by a simple dot or circle, transcended the limitations of earlier number systems, which struggled to express the absence of value. Zero as both a placeholder and a number in its own right, unlocked the potential of mathematics, paving the way for more complex calculations and the development of algebra. The impact of zero on our daily lives is immeasurable. It forms the bedrock of our decimal system, allowing us to represent vast quantities with ease. From the money we use to the time we keep, zero is an indispensable tool woven into the fabric of modern society. But beyond its practical applications, the invention of zero represents a profound shift in human thought. It is a testament to our ability to conceptualize abstract ideas, to grapple with the infinite, and to develop systems of knowledge that transcend the limitations of our physical world. From the vastness of the cosmos to the atom, numbers underpin our universe. Zero, a simple dot or circle, emerged in ancient India. It revolutionized mathematics, enabling complex calculations. 
Today, zero is integral to our daily lives. Across the ancient world, from the deserts of Egypt to the cities of Rome, glass captivated civilizations with its beauty and versatility. Originating in Mesopotamia around 3500 BCE, glass was born from sand, soda, ash and lime. This mixture, when cooled, transformed into a unique substance. Early artisans crafted intricate beads, amulets and vessels. Adding metallic oxides created vibrant colors, enhancing glass's allure. Glassmaking techniques spread, expanding its applications. In Rome, glass blowing flourished, creating delicate goblets and bowls. Window panes allowed light into homes and buildings. The blowpipe revolutionized glass production, enabling larger shapes. Glass became integral to ancient societies, reflecting their ingenuity. The legacy of early glassmakers lives on in modern uses. From windows to lenses, glass's impact endures. From the intricate tapestries of medieval Europe to the fine silks of the Orient, woven fabrics have long been prized for their beauty and utility. But before the advent of mechanized looms, the creation of cloth was a laborious process, each thread painstakingly interlaced by hand. The invention of the loom, a frame used to hold the warp threads taut while the weft threads are woven through, revolutionized textile production. Evidence suggests that looms were already in use in the Neolithic period, demonstrating the long history of human ingenuity in transforming raw materials into essential items. The basic principle of the loom intersecting threads at right angles to create a fabric has remained remarkably consistent throughout the millennia. Yet, the loom itself has seen countless variations and refinements across different cultures. From the simple backstrap looms used by nomadic tribes, to the complex draw looms capable of producing intricate patterns, this invention has played a pivotal role in shaping the world of textiles we know today. The urge to explore and understand the world is fundamental. Our ancestors charted courses with maps. The Babylonians crafted some of the earliest known maps. These clay tablets marked the beginning of cartography. They visualized and comprehended the world. Mathematics, with its elegant logic, has been a cornerstone of human civilization. The Pythagorean theorem is fundamental to geometry. Named after Pythagoras, it states that in a right-angled triangle, the square of the hypotenuse equals the sum of the squares of the other two sides. This theorem was known long before Pythagoras. Babylonians and Egyptians used it in architecture and land surveys. Its universal principles transcend cultures and eras. From the invention of the wheel, which revolutionized transportation, to the development of writing, which allowed us to record and share our thoughts and ideas, to the discovery of the Pythagorean theorem, which unlocked the secrets of geometry, the ingenuity of our ancestors continues to astound us. These ancient inventions, born from necessity, curiosity and an unyielding desire to improve the human condition, did not simply shape early civilizations. They laid the very foundation for the modern world we live in today. The legacy of these innovations is all around us. It's in the roads we travel, the buildings we inhabit, the technology we use, and the very fabric of our understanding of the world. As we stand on the shoulders of giants, marveling at the achievements of the past, let us also be inspired to embrace the spirit of innovation and continue the journey of discovery that began millennia ago. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey through history. Please subscribe to support our channel. Peace and love to all.